funding is going to always be number one on my priority list of what we do to make sure that we have support for the programs, the equipment that we purchase uh, because the state does fund uh, purchasing of equipment used in CTE labs. Uh, we also have additional funds that we receive for extended day which pays for all of the work that CTE teachers do outside of the traditional class. We also have a legislative initiative this year we're working on uh, that will affect work-based learning programs in our state, particularly uh, giving coverage for students who are under 18 years old uh, with employers who say they are not able to hire those students because of insurance regulations and so what we're doing is we're working with the Georgia Department of Insurance and uh, the Lieutenant Governor's Office and the Department of Education to craft a bill. The intent is to provide a carve-out for those students who are enrolled in work-based learning programs so that these larger employers can hire them and get around the insurance regulations that are currently prohibiting or holding them back from hiring students under the age of 18. What we've been trying to do over the past several years in our state is to connect the dots with the Georgia Chamber of Commerce, with the Georgia Economic Developers Association, um, with whatever association that it might be that is any, has anything to do with economic development so that they see the value in our programs and the need for increased funding for the program, increased programs so that our students are college and career ready. In Georgia, we've passed a lot of uh, tax incentives recently that encourage companies to locate and come to Georgia and receive uh, various tax incentives. It's one thing to offer tax incentives, it's another thing to have an educated workforce that has skills. And so the CTE, CTAE part of that equation is critical. And so everything we can possibly do to connect those dots and stay in front of those leaders so that they understand that connection is, is what we're trying to do at the state level. There's just, it's like, where do you start? That's how we view the relationship of CTE and economic development in our state. And fortunately, we have buy-in from a lot of uh, policymakers who are seeing that connection now more than ever, but it's taken a lot of work and there's still a lot of work left to be done.